Hello everyone, welcome to another video. This is going to be another how to build video. This is the, uh, well, not, I'll say new Nanashi. This is Nanashi. And I thought the reason I would do a how to build on him is that recently he's got a relic that has made him very useful. Of course, it is a dog relic, so it is very hard to get, but some people may be able to do it and may want to know what gear to use on him. I do have him 6 6. I've, I got him 6 6 so quickly. I kept pulling on SSR tickets. It's more luck. Some people may only have him 1 6 because they don't. They thought he was useless and used his dupes for Super Awakening, or the people may have him 6 6. Thing is, his ult, his ult level doesn't actually matter. Uh, it's got a very high base multiplier, his amplifier as well. The only real buffs you're going to be using on his team will be the buffs you get from his passive, so it doesn't really matter anyway. Uh, look at his stats first. Decent pierce rate. The uh, rest of the stats are pretty bad, especially. Oh, like crit resistance is very low. Crit defense isn't the worst. Crit chance, crit damage, he's not a DPS, 12% life still, it's not too bad, but definitely not the best. His first card is a deplete ult gauge and delete card. So, I think he, I think this is a very unique card, I don't think many other characters, or if not any other characters even have this card. So, at level 1 it has no effect, level 2 it removes one ult gauge and deletes a card. I believe it can also delete ultimates as well, yeah it does say here, it deletes ultimates if there are no other skills to remove. And then the gold card... Pardon me. Removes two uh, two ult gauge and deletes two cards as well, which isn't too bad. Here's a, an ult control, I guess, and has a despair card as well, which only really works if he crits, and he has very low crit chance. And everyone else nowadays has really high crit resistance, so he's probably not going to crit. Uh, his passive at the start of the allies' turn applies a buff to allies with two or less cards, increasing max HP, crit resistance, and crit defense by 20% for one turn. That additionally reduces the, uh, and then if they get attacked, the enemy that attacked them loses one all gauge, it only happened once. Uh, but if, if they were to use an AoE card, for some reason everyone on your team had this, um, this Nanashi passive buff, uh, they would lose three all gauge, or the only reason that would actually be able to happen is if you're on 4v4, and they would lose four all gauge. So, his Super Awakening, let's actually look at his Super Awakening. I can't actually look because he's ridden many max Super Awakens. Thank you, game. Uh, obviously, I do have him 6-6. Six, six. His multiplier is very high, though, which is good. Here, the bottom multiplier doesn't change. It's always 30% per buff, as he's not a festival character. And Nanashi himself is a very old character. You don't really see him on many banners anymore because how old he is. And no one really thought he was useful until he got a relic. Uh, Gear-wise, he'd be HP defense. He's a support character. He's not built for DPS. His stats are not high enough for DPS. He's just mainly used as a support character. He does have a healing card, but it only works if he crits. So only he'll heal him if he doesn't crit. But if he crits, he'll heal your entire team. I think by the the value of all the damage, he's only got crit once. That's the reason I believe that Levi from the AOT collab has a chance of coming back. Outfits-wise, you don't really need Nashi's outfits. Of course, if you do want to go first, you may want to buy all his outfits just to go first. The stats on his relic, actually very decent, uh, decent attack, decent HP, and very good defense, uh, which actually then leads straight on to the relic. So the relic increases uh, unknown race allies' basic stats by 30%, so that's guaranteed, that's without uh, any clauses to it. And then you, the second part, which is increased defense related stats of allies with two or fewer cards, uh, at the start of the turn by 20%, so he was built for uh, Rough Talia. So Rough Talia herself is a very powerful character, here she is. But she is based off defense. Uh, there wasn't really many. There was no blue unknown support characters. He is the first up blue unknown support character. Also, he does give more stats than Ram, who was uh, the current best for it. Plus, also as well as the basic stats, uh, Nanashi also gives the defense related stats with his uh, relic as well, which is also really helpful for Rough Talia, and especially if you'll be running with Nafmi as well, as well as uh, Blue Gill in the back. Uh, she can start one tapping people, which is really what she needed. She needed that support character. Of course, I do believe that she probably needs more support, uh, but she was, of course she was built to tailor around uh, now for me, as in the show, that's what she does as well. Uh, I will eventually buy this relic, but I am currently waiting just in case uh, characters that are essential for dogs get relic. For example, Tonar recently got a relic, I got Tonar's relic, uh, but mainly if Freya gets a relic, because Freya's relic will be dog material even though he is unknown. I am a little bit irritated that as the Nashi is an unknown, he should really have a bird relic, but it is a dog relic. I'm not sure if this is trying to push people, well, all the uh, newer and better relics will be by dogs, which is what I think it will actually be now, which is kind of sad. But hopefully uh, we get a free dog relic soon. I don't mind if they add another Dawning Beast, just at least just make it fun. Don't do the deer again.
please. That's painful. Dogs isn't too bad. You do need the right characters as well as needing relics to do it. So you do have to use painful teams for a little while. I'm still using the patience team, uh, which is good at best. Uh, but recently I've been having very bad RNG and struggling to do floor two, but I can also do floor three sometimes as well. Anyway, thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.